Welcome to another Never Have I Ever, number 25. Woo! Pew, pew, pew. I gotta get my sound effects ready. I have the best panel I've ever had in the history of this show with me here tonight, and I'm gonna introduce them for you. Um, to my, this side, he's a comedian. He's got a fucking killer Twitter presence. Clubs and colleges all over. It's Chris Barnes. Hey. Yay. Thanks for having me. Oh, glad you glad you could do it. And underneath, she is the host of the the life. Fuck, don't jump, don't. I'm going to the chat. I'm going to the chat. <laughs> She's the host. She nope. Her website is thelifewithgenergy.com. Um, she it's that's also the name of your show, right? I'm fucking this no. up. But we can pretend. Uh, the life I'll make a show. I'll make a show okay. to make it true. There okay. you go. Her website is thelifewithgenergy.com. Uh, explores health and entertainment. If you're not living, if you're not laughing, you're not living. I fucked up things so bad. <laughs> if you're not living, you're not going to laugh either. So you're right. Oh, my God. That's true. That's how we have to get through this. It's Jen Elise Valdi. I ruined your intro. Please forgive me. <laughs> I like and it. And to her other side, she's the host of the oldest pro podcast. Um, I actually, we have an episode, we did an episode together on CMP, which aired earlier this week. So check that out if you haven't already. It's Caitlin Bailey. Dun, 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 dun. Last but not least, <laughs> he was a finalist in Connecticut's funniest comic competition last year in 2019 which seems like 40 years ago it's dave sheehan Ooh. how are we all feeling tonight good i pulled this shirt oh my god it's see-through oh my god i didn't even see that <laughs> wow That's see, amazing. so many things change when you turn on the ring light it's a different story um no i did not steal this top from liberace this i just pulled from the back of my closet because I was like, I need to start dressing up like I'm going out more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. Festive. I'm going to wear this for one hour. I'm going to sweat through it and then put it in the laundry. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to hang it back up and wear it again. So guys, this is Never Have I Ever. I hope everybody viewing at home, it's a Saturday night. Get a drink if you haven't got one already. Uh, this is a fun drinking game. Um, it's basically going to be like, oh, never have I ever... Um, laid on the ground and let a dog lick my face that's a terrible example but if whatever the thing is if you've done it you take a drink and then if one of us have done it we drink and then we have to tell the story of the time we did the thing does that make sense this is like extremely see-through i really <laughs> taking a look in the mirror okay i will start um never have i ever kissed someone of the same gender same sex same i know we can't say sexual preference okay same gender as ourselves it's the first red wine of the year too oh whitney's here okay she's coming in da, da, da. oh my god we have a newcomer it's whitney allman <laughs> Winnie, just to catch you up, um, awful, never have awful. I ever. <laughs> Get a drink if you don't have one already. I just did never have I ever kissed someone of the same gender. Okay. And now you're caught up. So we'll drink again for that. Woo! Yes. Yes, it was me. <laughs> I did it a um, couple of times, couple of three ways, you know. Uh, they were very fun for the other people. I was just there trying to make everybody happy. Uh, it was someone's <laughs> birthday. Someone got a promotion. Um, you know, threesomes are hard. It's hard to get all your needs met because you're just, if you're me, you're just trying to seem cool and not ask for anything. <laughs> it's hard to come as a people pleaser for sure. Oh my God, is it ever. It's hard to come with one person, uh, let alone two people that, you know, they paid for a salad and now you, you got to make it happen. <laughs> so, yeah. You got to increase your rates, Chrissy. Really, I mean. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I was like a large Greek. Let's do it. it and sounds it's funny, like a lot like, of coordinating. It does. It takes a lot of coordinating. But I enjoy, I've enjoyed kissing women. They're very soft 
and it's it's like duh because they're not men but i'm just like oh it's you, i had this moment where i was like is this how it feels to kiss me like is this how i feel to dudes like is this you kind of like go outside of your body and you're like what's happening exactly um, and then you realize that you're just drunk <laughs> yeah okay anybody else anybody else dave chris no no Not, never i mean does it i mean does it count if it's a joke i don't know <laughs> yeah did you use like tongue was it a joke with no, tongue you know you just go you kiss your buddies on the cheek when they don't expect and then they freak out because <laughs> you know everyone homophobia exactly because <laughs> I get it. why because of homophobia <laughs> yeah so, um yeah i don't know i don't really think that counts it didn't have the heart in it you know so yeah Next time, just go for the lips, you know? I should. And then be like, it's a joke. But I, I also it's, have feelings for you. <laughs> it's 2020. I feel like we, it could just, I should just go for it, you know? We're all in quarantine. We all need some loving. So, we do. We should, I need, okay. next time I see my friends, I haven't seen them in a while, I'm going to kiss them right on, on the, the lips. mouth. Do yes. it. <laughs> I'm going to kiss my tongue in to their mouth whether they want to or not when they pull away creeped out be like i need this <laughs> or say I, it was just a joke after 30 seconds of just yeah <laughs> after 30 <laughs> seconds of hooking up i'm like what do you it's a joke why are you freaking out 30 minutes 30 <laughs> minutes it's a joke it's a bit it's a new bit i'm working <laughs> after on you both come right now i get it <laughs> yeah be like ah <laughs> that's funny um <laughs> all right caitlin i feel like you are someone who's Who's made out with women? Yes, yes, both recreationally and professionally. I wouldn't, Ooh. I mean, you know, yeah. It's, I mean, mm. are you looking for like, you know, the porn set details here? No, or like, if you want to share a fun story, like pick one of the instances, maybe how it I happened. I think, I think one of my favorite nights was like one weird night in comedy and, you know, I had walked back home to my place and she like pushed me up against the wall and kissed me and then I, went home and we never spoke of it again it was you know very Ooh. very movie-esque and a highlight mm. but this was a fellow comedian this was yes both i think both of us would probably identify as straight it was just like one of those magical nights but like, <laughs> so you walked her you. home and then no, no 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 she walked she walked me home this was in this is my hallway i was Ooh. you know getting getting walked to my place in, now, were you, you know, her defense, it was on McDougal Street. So it was like, were cross, you, but. were you like, I want to hook up with this girl or it just kind of happened? I, I wanted to, ki I mean, like we wanted to kiss each other and that's as far as we took it. Like it wasn't, it didn't like brew a tryst or romance, but it was definitely like a, a shared moment. So. Sounds very cute. Sounds yeah, it was like, neat. like a cute little, almost we like, like middle so school. In, we yeah. were like just so into each other artistically. We had to make out for a second, you know, like it was just that. Ah yeah i love it that sounds very sweet and like uh, nobody's boundaries were yeah. ruined you know i was looking for something a little bit more disgusting caitlin actually i'm I was sorry i'm sorry some. i wore <laughs> look i'm here i'm trying to represent i can't no you're doing great um okay I'm, I'm i'm into it um just to catch you up elizabeth we had done elizabeth church is here we had just done Never Have Ever Kissed Somebody of the Same Sex. So if you've done that, take a drink. If not, who else, Jen, have you? Well, there might have been five, not counting. And the two interesting, one was timed. It was a birthday gift. My friend said, please, please, please. She was so drunk that she, I was on the phone with my boyfriend in D.C. And I see her walking across the bar and she bites off just someone's random ice cream cone in the bar. And she was so drunk that she begged me in the taxi. So I said, okay, five seconds. So while I'm doing it, I'm going, I'm holding up my hand in the cab. Bye. It was so a did, nice did five Mississippi. Yeah, that's nice. I did, while holding my hand up while doing it. Wow. Yes. This person already sounded very unstable by uh, <laughs> by biting someone else's uh, random person's ice cream in the bar. Yeah. I question the story because of the ice cream fact. <laughs> uh, who has an ice cream cone in a bar? Yeah. I don't know. And who walks up to them and just bites it? <laughs> that's a that's a that's an aggressive move that's a microaggression 
Well, I like keeping interesting company. So that was one of my best friends for a while. <laughs> she was oh, very no, entertaining. She sounds, she sounds great. I, I'm going to give out for my friends' birthdays. I'm going to give them timed kisses. <laughs> everyone, everyone loves a clock watcher. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I love it. Did I see you drink on that, Elizabeth? It was a rock star. <gasps> what? Who? Drink my um my white claw. Yes, good good for you, girl. The summer continues with white claw. I've already moved on to fall wines, but good, you're doing it. Yeah, well, it's kind of a yellow color with the leaves changing. So. Is that mango? It's mango. Yeah, mango's probably the best flavor, arguably. Um, Elizabeth, who was this rock star that you kissed? Pardon me. Who who did you kiss? Who did I kiss? Is the female? Yes. <laughs> guys dressed up as women? No, it was never I've ever kissed somebody of the same sex. Like, oh, okay. I just didn't know like, if like, <laughs> if they had the breasts and the penis. What? It's that. <laughs> Have you kissed another biological woman? Is woman. I, guess I feel like the more I explain this, the less fun it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> she can't have been inflatable. Yeah, yeah. A real girl. <laughs> oh, okay. So all the parts. What about a hermaphrodite? I did date a hermaphrodite. You know what? Yes, sure. I'd like to hear about that. <laughs> I do want to point out that that wasn't the question. We're opening it up. <laughs> just, great. It's 2020. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Like my yeah, my just kissing another girl. And that seems like really lame in twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elizabeth's frozen. I, I can't side my. I'm frozen. Some zoom lag. I can first, first zoom lag. Got to drink. Mm -mm. Oh, we all do. That rule. That's now. Yes, I've been. It's a rule I'm sorry. I just started. Can you email the rules? I didn't get them before. There was no rule. I just made that rule just now because Zoom lags are like, I feel awkward. I never know what to do. Like, I'm like, do I move on? Do I like give the person like a chance to un unlag? But it's like, it's not up to us. It's up to the yeah. Zoom gods. So we just have to drink, I guess. She's really frozen right there. I don't she know is very frozen. Say, like in carbonite. She's, yeah. She's that's frozen. Expensive. Like she's, yeah, like Han Solo, but, he, but she, like, she's uh, like, <laughs> she's like explaining something. She's like, maybe, maybe she's when Zoom say lag, somebody else should jump in and just finish their story on their behalf. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you maybe guys? she was going to say something so incriminating. Her spirit guides came in and said, no. Nope. No. <laughs> Do you guys have to watch the, the pandemic episode of South Park because Cartman, he does like pretend Zoom lags for school. He's like, ah. And then they're like, Cartman, are you, you're frozen again. Oh, well, you'll just have to listen. And then he clicks out. Oh my God, it's really brilliant and funny. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, who wants to go next? I feel like I'm boring. I, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I might be in the wrong boring. chat session here. First of all, I've been married 17 years. So I don't even know uh, yes. it up. How, how many years. things I'm going to drink to. And then I'm drinking water. I feel like I'm the most boring person on earth. right? <laughs> no way. No way. The I fact like that you didn't get, stories. you didn't get broken up with during the lockdown. Like that's, that's no. pretty amazing. You're, oh, we, we powered through. <laughs> What's your strategy? Yeah. Uh, I, th I would say, well, see, the thing is, I just turned 40. I w we've been dating since I was yeah, 19. Look at me. So we've been together 19. 20 years. So in a way, you would think maybe I was too young to get married. But then at the same time, we had an opportunity to grow together and learn with each other. So it's different because when you get older and you're trying to find someone, now you're, you're stuck in your ways, he's stuck in his ways and whatever. And now you got to figure out how you're going to like put two lives together and it's not as easy. So I don't know what's right or what's wrong. I just know for me, communication is a big deal. And plus I kind of beat him down. So now <laughs> yeah. he's in the other room, probably nodding his head. He's like, yeah. Now when I yell at him, he thinks it's cute. <laughs> so I don't know. I was just waiting for you to pan your camera down and he'd be down there like rubbing your feet. <laughs> yeah, he would be. He's like my camera guy. He goes around with me. He, he works all Aww. day. And then I'm like, I need your help. You have to help me. <laughs> wow. I love it. So you're just weirdly lucky and just met the world's it's most perfect odd. man. 
it's odd. I wouldn't say he's the most perfect man, but <laughs> he's, probably, he's already like, yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, man. But he's good enough. Aww. Good enough <laughs> is good. <laughs> Lucky dude. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> Oh my God, Dave, are you frozen too now? Oh nope, no. This is just how I look. <laughs> oh wow, you really looked frozen. I look like I'm part of the artwork behind me, don't I? <laughs> you look like you are in, a, in the wrong Zoom. You look like, are, are we here for uh, financial analysis? <laughs> you look like a mannequin on the most exciting day of my life, so don't worry about it. Can anybody hear me? Elizabeth's yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, can you turn your phone? horizontal per chance because it might look a little better there we go now we're cooking with gas <laughs> she oh, looks no. like a claymation video at this point <laughs> <laughs> like a stop motion yeah um uh, okay. my hermaphrodite joke yes okay let's mm. hear it <laughs> that's gonna say, is it a I story thought... yeah it's a joke oh all right oh uh, i thought it... oh. all it's right not preparing for a joke so now it's gotta be really really funny <laughs> oh so i'll try no pressure i mean so this I, is for stories you don't have to like okay well definitely this, tell it if you want <laughs> well, this is real, okay i've always fantasized about being a hermaphrodite socially it would be awkward but i always wait for the day that somebody told me to go fuck myself and then i could just do that you know just like Yes. <laughs> yes, I get it. You would ever just. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Jen Feldy. Do, you <laughs> do I want to hook up with her now for night? I'm sorry, my phone was so excited. Oh no. No, I mean, okay. do you have a ne do you have a never have I ever? Of course I do. I got tons of them. Let's see. Never have I ever broken up a relationship during quarantine because the guy wouldn't water pick his teeth. Maybe. <laughs> wow, that's very specific. Yeah. <laughs> Who has a water pick? My grandma was the only one. I love that who... thing. I think it's the best thing ever. Oh my gosh, I love the water pick. The water pick replaces Maybe. flossing? It can. It, well, okay. it can do it in the morning. That's what I do. My dad's a dentist. In the morning, I water pick. Oh. At night, I floss because I'm lazy. I should floss both, but water pick. But if you don't do it and I do it, man, it is torture. His breath kept me up at night. And I woke up and I said, I was so tired. And he said, why? I said, well, I couldn't really sleep. And he goes, why? And I was like, well, every time your breath was keeping me up. And he's like, oh, that's not good. And I said, no, it's not good. And I was like, do you have the water pick attachment I gave you? Because, of course, when I first started dating him, like, day one, I'm like, here's a water pick. You Here's this. Remember? You're all set up. Oh yeah, I said them all. You're off, such but... a dentist daughter. You're like, and we're yes. and it's official. Here's your water pick. Yeah. Here's your glide floss. Here's, yes. your, here's totally. Your, here's cool. your Sonicare. <laughs> but he didn't and we all have boundaries. Yeah, he didn't use it, and um, I told him that morning, and then at night he crawled into bed, and I said, "Did you use the water pick?" And he said, "No." And I said in my head, "That's it. It's over. Fourteen months. Goodbye." <laughs> oh my god this is like a really? curb your enthusiasm episode i know, know. <laughs> or like seinfeld so you were dating this guy a year and two months yes and he he had he lived with me wow and he wouldn't water pick so he's out no. yeah and he was a little argumentative like a woman he started getting argumentative like less <laughs> sex more arguments and he didn't like the fact that i smoked pot and he doesn't like blowjobs which i'm very good i have he doesn't have like reviews. getting no, them? he doesn't like anybody uh, no uh, I like getting high and giving blowjobs. She doesn't like either. Had to break them up, you know? Like, what? <laughs> I think so that's more beer. of a reason the water pick, to be honest. I don't know if the water pick was the main issue. I'm thinking <laughs> Top there's some other I'm a, things. I'm a big believer in dumping fussy dudes. So I feel like you get a little fussy, you know, you're out of the house. That's, mm. yeah. yeah, for sure. Three. Yeah. Jen, you also sound like the perfect woman. Like, you, you blow, you get blowjobs, <laughs> and you hook up dudes with dental equipment. And she uses a water pick. Like, this I mean, is, it's wall to wall. It's so crazy. It's like all those things. Like, all I care about smoking pot, getting high. I'm high right now. Excuse me, I just kicked in right before I forgot. And <laughs> you're doing great. Very fun. You're doing great. Yeah. Well, thank you. And three water picks. What else? What else do you need? And he doesn't like either. He hates them all. And he hates dogs. <laughs> Who is this? Okay, yeah, okay that's the, the reason right there. Is a huge. The dog thing would never fly. 
What yeah. kind of a yeah. maniac doesn't like dogs? <laughs> I don't know. A genius. My dog just jumped in to this conversation. Oh, this what kind of dog do you have? Oh my god. Chihuahua. Oh. Right when you said who Oh my god, what's your dog's name? Turbo. Wait, what's her name? Turbo. Turbo? Verbo? Verbo. <laughs> wow. Turbo. Oh, Turbo. Oh my god. What a cutie. It looks like a little otter. I was talking about jumped in and wanted to say hi. Oh um, my god. We I love if anybody else has a dog, please go get them because <laughs> I love oh, next I wish time. I did. Um, um, Jen, I need to know, follow-up question. How many men have you, um, sort of enforced the water pick rule on? Um, I never needed to before. I always, like the last guy, they both, the two guys before him actually had metal picks. I was so impressed. I was like, oh, so amazing. But this one did it. So I, I, don't, I don't know. It's the first. Wow. Did he think- even use like regular floss, like dollar store floss, nothing? Yes. He was very good at flossing at night, but that water pick, man, like when I'm power washing my mouth and I gotta stick my tongue in your mouth and you got like all this bacteria, which when it multiplies, it gives off duty. That's what the smell is. It's the smell of fecal matter from bacteria. You're actually smelling duty. Like I can't. Hold the phone. This, I, I did not expect to go in this direction ever. <laughs> yeah. So when you have bad breath, is it because the bacteria in your mouth is taking a shit? <laughs> That's what my dad says, according to Ron Feldman. He says that. (laughs) Oh, my God. Shout out to Ron Feldman, (laughs) dentistry. So then a water pick is like a bidet for your mouth. Yes. But what about a blowjob? I mean, doesn't that create bacteria? I'd imagine. I've, you know what I've heard? I've, I've always like, and I'm always flossing at night. Like that's like the least you can do. But I've heard that if a guy goes down on you and like hasn't brushed or flossed, especially if you've eaten like bread or anything like glutinous, that like that can actually contribute to a yeast infection that the, the, that the whatever in your mouth after you've eaten, like, and you haven't yeah. washed out and you go down. I, I mean, I like, it's never happened to me, but I've, I've. Is this the next never have I ever? <laughs> no, that's a, just a gross fact. No one needed to know. <laughs> I don't know. That just sounds like another lame reason to not go down on a woman. You know? Oh, like, that just what? seems like something like men email yeah, each other, like friends. tell her this. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? And it's like, listen, I don't want to bake bread in your pussy. Like, I don't want to oh bake bread. God. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't know how any of it works, but I think this is dangerous. <laughs> I'm gluten free. No baking bread for me. <laughs> Can I go back bacteria yeah. in your mouth real quick? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Teria in her mouth. I'm just saying maybe he really cared for her and he didn't want her to have bacteria from the blowjob. Maybe. 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 I maybe. like that Whitney being maybe over just... to her husband who looked like he was packing up to leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally packing a suitcase. <laughs> I've had enough. I I'm like, our, our relationship's going great. And he's like, goodbye. <laughs> I know I'm deflecting right now. I'm like, oh, he's, everything's fine. Everything's great. He's taking art off the walls. <laughs> he's like, I'm taking that the dog. That would be funny. I know. Aww. Wow, Jen, that was a really good one. Um, oh, I'm glad you liked it because it's the truth. I didn't I have don't to even, make anything up. I wish I could. I wish my boyfriend would floss before bed. I, I actually feel- go and get my teeth cleaned every four months. Ooh, oh, awesome. wow. Yeah, I'm one of those. Just because I had so many problems with my teeth for so long, and then I'm like, I have to just go. And the dentist is like, yeah. you need to come every four months. And now for years, that's all I've been doing. That's how they get you, though. Yeah. So I have a question. Okay. <laughs> Eating my boyfriend's ass a little bit. Does that create, like, how much bacteria? How much Wait, do I what happened? What happened? I've been <laughs> eating my boyfriend's ass. You've been eating his ass? ass? Just licking. Oh, You're probably well, okay. Yeah. You're probably I don't know fine. if we're the people to ask, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, we might uh, not know. I would take go to a medical professional, to maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I just want to know how much I need to floss. Like, I mean, sometimes there's corn. I mean, but. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you know, you know what Dr. Feldman says. He said, if you're going to eat ass, you got to floss at least three times a day. That's official. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely not. Dr. Feldman's. <laughs> Dental well, hygiene. Go on that. 
<laughs> wow, this is full of surprises. This Zoom, I'm loving it though. <laughs> hope our viewers are all enjoying their dinner right now. I hope they, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope there's corn. Oh my god. Yeah, I would say <laughs> probably just floss once a day at least, right? Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a you want, okay. Do you are you pro electrical toothbrush or do you? Yeah. Yeah. I use like I, four different kinds. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, three you different use manuals mouthwash. and one electric. I have like 10 mouthwashes. Sometimes I use them every other day. Yeah. Are you supposed to drink the mouthwash or just spit it out? No, you're supposed to spit it That's, out. Well, for you, oh. maybe continue drinking it. I am it. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, man. oh crap. <laughs> okay, who hasn't gone yet? I have to Dollar mouthwash. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Elizabeth loves the dollar store. I, I respect it. Um, Kate, Caitlin, did you go? <laughs> no, no, only Jen's gone. Oh my God. All right, all right. We got to catch up. So, yeah, what is that? Uh, so, this is a never have I ever, but it's supposed to be something you've never done or something Some, you have so done? Something you studying. have done. I, I've been told oh. I'm playing this game the wrong way, but oh, I, really? I can't go back now. Yeah, it's too late. That, mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't know. Um, you could do something you've never done. Fuck it. Let's I mix it up. Fuck it. Never, never have I ever performed naked. <laughs> performed oh. sex never. naked? Yeah, does, your, does in your underwear count? Wait, if you, you want to, one, this is your show, Chrissy. Like, you know, you're telling me the rules. We're I'll making take a, this shit I'll up take a little go. sip, a tiny sip. Dude, is this a lingerie <laughs> show at Stand Up New York? <laughs> yes, I've catch? done that. Yep. I've done. Um, I did one in Atlanta mm -hmm. at like the, uh, whatever that comedy festival is down there, the Laughing Skull, I think. Oh yeah, yep. So at least twice, maybe three times. What about mm -hmm. you, Caitlin? Yeah, I produced the Naked Comedy Show for like oh, a year. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you would do totes nude Totally, yeah, absolutely. Whoa. And then I did, uh, I did the Naked Roast Battle at the first game. What? Yep, yep, Aaliyah Janine. So that's amazing. And, That's um, and then that led to some weird road opportunities where there were nudist resorts. They hate being called colonies. Uh, that <laughs> they're not a me. colony? I was, yeah, they're not a colony. Not, not a colony, right? It's like they're oh, PC shit. But they, uh, they wanted me to do a family-friendly nude comedy show, and I couldn't <gasps> oh, do it. So they, had, no. so they they had to call an intermission so that they could get all of the naked children out of the naked auditorium so I could tell my dirty jokes while we were all naked. Whoa. I don't think nude children belong at I a place with weird. nude adults. It was a weirdly, it was like not a sexual environment. It was like a weirdly wholesome, it's like summer camp, but like, <laughs> at, like apropos of nothing. I would never everyone's fucking naked. bring my child to a nude anything. Oh my God. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but don't talk about it, dick. <laughs> Cause we're all right, yeah, they're like, no cussing. And I was like, I, I've got my tits out. I got this. <laughs> yeah. So can't. That is crazy. Yeah. Did you no ever F feel, bombs. did you ever feel like self-conscious or weird? Uh, I mean, it's like, it's an adrenaline rush, right? It's like jumping off of an airplane. It's like it, the, the feeling of stand up, like turned up is how I would That's describe it. So, you know, that adrenaline clicks in and you're off. I will say that performing for other people that are naked is weird. Like you don't realize how much you depend on people's clothing for like <laughs> cues on like how to talk to people. Can you uh, imagine if you're like, wow, he really liked that last joke. Yikes. Right. Oh. You can tell, you can see who's enjoying you. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Did you ever, did, do, I imagine people hit on you like a lot in these scenarios. No, no? way intimidated. Mostly avoided wow. eye contact. Most like just, yeah, like, oh, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a. Because you're living everyone's worst fucking nightmare. You're like up there doing the cold sweat nightmare in real life experience. So people treat you like you just jumped out of an airplane. Did it make you feel less nervous to just imagine everybody naked? No, it was, no, but it made me less nervous to do literally anything else. Right, like no, there, there was never an audition after that. Or it's like, like in that scenario, you imagine everybody clothed to make you feel better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I project yeah, something long, onto you? How long ago was that? Oh God, I don't know. Three, four, may have been five years ago. I don't. What is time? 
you know, what is time? That's like, social was it last week or a decade ago? That's interesting, though. That's really, really interesting. That's been, like probably I most interesting. I've heard. <laughs> no, I, I think that takes me. major balls because, like, someone it's asked me a couple times, and I, I would always be like, no, I gotta lose 10 pounds. Like, I've never been in a place where I would feel good. Like, I didn't ever feel like I would brought my best self, it, like, you know? Like, I, I'm ready to be viewed, you know? Yeah, I, I didn't. Like, I've also done nude modeling, whatever, like art stuff or whatever yeah. college and stuff and like that you're like trying to make your body like you're like presenting in a certain way that is not how i make a just comedy it's like over. <laughs> it, yeah no it's just like, it's just vulnerability it's like there's no like the sexual stuff poor, there's too much adrenaline happening for oh, sexual stuff to be like a part of it wow so, that's so yeah. amazing modeling i've done that you have to hold a pose though it's actually really hard it is really hard yeah I've done that. Yeah, yeah. Difficult. But what you've expressed doing comedy, that's what you're saying about jumping out of an airplane. I feel like the same kind of metaphor that I've used jumping out of airplane doing comedy. But I feel like if you're prepared, you have a parachute. But are you really prepared for naked people and, and that kind of interaction where it's like, that's like a whole new level of stuff, but are you like how worried can, about me contracting an STI from the mic or like what is mm. you, <laughs> I'm just saying you took, it, you took it to such an extreme level that's that's really amazing. She's praising you. She's she's oh, I'm sorry. I feel no, I just feel patronized. But yeah, thank thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate I, appreciate I, I think I was getting know, some I, weird middle I, school vibes of like, are you ready? To like <laughs> You took it to like an extreme level where I used to have, like, seriously, I would throw up before I even do an open mic a long time ago. And yeah. you have so much courage to do something like that. It can be so oh, yeah. beautiful. It's and the bravest thing. Comedy. Like, that's just like really amazing. I'm just still trying to mm -hmm. comprehend. I'm not saying anything bad about it. Anyway, I just think it's amazing because I already feel. Balls, yeah. Yeah, like the line between stupid and brave is thin and porous, though. So mm -hmm. what? <laughs> Got it. That's not stupid. That's just I've never even heard of it or thought of it doing comedy like that. Because mm -hmm. it, it the shit out of me, and that's how I used to tell people like it's like jumping out of an airplane. Yep, do the but thing that scares you. Are prepared, you have your material, and you are prepared. And so to be, be prepared for that and do a good job, which I feel like you did. It's just astounding, and that's so great. Do you feel like, Caitlin, when you were naked, people were distracted by looking at your nude body? Like, they were distracted from your funny jokes because there was so much to look at? That wasn't, that wasn't my experience. I feel like people were nervous for me, which made them listen closer. There was, like, just a, a, an intensity mm. in the mm. audience that I think was, like, again, like, turned up, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like the all of the body analysis happens in the first four seconds, right? Your brains are very fast mm -hmm. at being like, those are tits. That's nice. But then, you know, so by the time you hit your first punchline, everyone's able to like, you know, so, listen okay. back in on the words. Or I, I never, I never felt like I, like jokes were bombing because people couldn't hear me past my tits. I felt that fully clothed in writer's rooms, but like not, not naked on a, on a stage. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Um, Whitney. Yeah. That's me. Do you, one? Do you have a never have I ever? Um, well, I I feel like I'm so boring, but I was looking up some fun ones. Uh -huh. <laughs> you could be boring. You could be so, boring. Well, I was going to say never have I ever uh, flirted my way out of a parking ticket. Ooh, oh, man. no. I want to. Though. I definitely have. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Speeding tickets. Never. I've never caught a parking ticket. So I, I retract <laughs> my Speeding ticket. Drink. Speeding ticket. Yeah. That's what I actually meant. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Never had a ticket. I've never had a ticket. Thank you very much. <gasps> really? What? Uh, I also never like live in a place where I'm always taking, mostly taking like trains and subways, so it's easy. Oh. Like I'll just, I'll borrow cars for road gigs, so I'm driving like a, a small percentage of the year. Wow. But I'm a good driver. Um, yeah. I thought I you were wanted, the chosen well, one or something. Yeah, I was like, a cho I'm a chosen <laughs> oh <my> one. <laughs> Whitney, did you catch the person writing your ticket? Like, how did you get out of it? 
Well, there's a few, it's actually happened in all these different scenarios. First of all, years ago, I used to be a Hooters girl. So there you go. There's yeah. Wow. Some gossip. All right. Um, I, <laughs> so I remember getting pulled over and I was like, oh, I'm on my way to work. I work at Hooters. And they're like, oh, really? Show some uniform or something like it was like weird but this is like 20 years ago and then i showed them the uniform and then they were like okay and then i got out of it because of that wow and then, like i don't know one time like i was an extra in a movie and it was so late and i was on my way home and it was late and i just wanted to get home and it was in somewhere in pennsylvania and i was like almost two hours from home and i was driving and i got pulled over and i was like um I was like, I know it's really late, but I was just in this movie and like, can, can, and he was like, okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like what be- movie was it? <laughs> it was in Creed 2. Ooh, when that came out. Look, but I it- just got out of Creed 2. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, I literally filmed for six days. I mean, I'm literally in the front row of the last final scene where their final fight scene, I'm in a red suit. Like, you can't miss me, but guess what? You can miss me because you can barely <laughs> see me. Like the way the camera is, I'm like, I can't believe I'm in the front row of the ring. Like you should be able to see me and you, mm-hmm. you'd you have to really pause it to know exactly. But I'm there <laughs> if you pause it in that one second. That's but, awesome. But yeah. And like one time in um, Atlantic City area, I got out of a ticket from, it was actually a parking ticket because but I happen to know it was the brother of a guy that I grew up with so like I was like oh my god thank god I know you and so I don't know so you jerked him off yeah but I'm not on wood right now because I want to keep that streak going (laughs) I love it you're not boring at all this is great thanks so the moral there is to what carry around a Hooters uniform in the trunk of your car at all times I I think think don't do that Chris I mean, I might do it. If it will help me, I'll do it. I'll wear the shorts. Uh, I, I think the moral is to be a white woman. I feel like that is. Like, <laughs> or just a hot woman. Yeah. Hot yeah, woman. fair. Hot uh, woman. <laughs> moral of the story is you can turn a Hooters girl into a housewife. Wait, can I ask yeah. a question? Yes. Are, are all of you comedians? Yeah, I am. I've tried to. I was once one. No, I is just, anyone a comedian these days? I, I don't know. know. What's the <laughs> definition? Yeah. I was just Friday. curious. Like, that's cool. That you get a hotel paid for you and they pay for your show and yeah. you have a problem. Then that you're that's real? it. Exactly. Well, my, my extent is your mama jokes. So if you ever need a battle, I'll be your battle girl. Okay. That good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any, so. Lay it on me, girl. I I need one now, and I want to see the Hooters like top. I'm like, do you think I, I can both. fit into that now? There is no way. I was 19 when I worked there. There's Aww. no way I could fit into that. I was like extra, extra small. Now I'm like medium. <laughs> you look great. Medium's pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah. A mama joke. What? Oh, you want me to say All right, I'll take a t-shirt. Mama joke. I want a mama joke. Oh, I could go. I, I'll go. You want me to, there's so many. Yeah. You want me to do some? I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, it depends. It's not my show, so I don't want to. Do it. Do it. Take it away. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. This is my favorite one. You're on me. Your mama is so fat Ooh. that when she walked by the TV, I missed three commercials. Oh, I like that one. Ooh. Your mama is so old, she went to the dinocologist. Ah, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my God, there's so many. Your mama is so stupid. When she went to court, the judge said, Order in the court. So she said, I'll take a burger and fries. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> These are good. These are like. Dad jokes. I mean, I could keep going. Like, I, really, I like it. I like it. Your mama's glasses are so thick. When she looks at a map, she can see the people waving to her. Aw. <laughs> That's cute. Your mama jokes Elizabeth's by your loving local mama. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. Oh, yeah. Caitlin, so you got out of a ticket. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, uh, I was driving once to a, a mock trial tournament um in my volkswagen cabrio convertible and i was doing 104 miles an hour in a 65 uh yeah and i 
I told the pol I told the police officer that I was on my way to a mock trial tournament, and he told me that if I didn't slow down, I was going to be on my way to a real courtroom. And oh, then, wow. yeah. Ooh. And then he and then he let me go, and I was like, "What? This is that doesn't even make any sense. I should be in jail." Wow. Uh, but I made it. Six. You were on your way to where? Where top, a mock a like mock trial tournament? I was a, I was being a pretend lawyer in in college. Wait, and then Caitlin, what did the cops say to you? Uh, if uh, if you don't slow down, you're gonna end up in a real court. Oh. You knew what that meant. That's a love condition right there. I have no. I had a dude idea. in the car with me. It was uh... zoom leg, zoom leg, zoom Aww. leg. Oh, that's amazing. He knew what you were talking about. Her court story <laughs> reminded me of a funny story, but. Um, tell it, Whitney, and then until Caitlin comes yeah. back. No, it's too, it's actually kind of gross. It's about pooping in your pants. <laughs> um, oh, hello. I was going to say that. Right <laughs> Can we you were talking about bacteria. Never have I ever earlier. pooped is... my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is that, pants. I mean, yeah, I mean. Does oh, a shart, a shart counts, right? Okay. No one else in here has pooped their pants? No, I, that was what reminded me of the story. It's a funny story, but it's Oh, like, okay. Like, I thought like, you were doing I now. I never even tell anybody oh, the story. That's for just drink, Chris. Just drink. You too, Dave. Oh, all right. I'm drinking. Pooped your pants. Pooped your pants. How'd it. you do it? How did it happen? Oh, my story. So basically, it's such a stupid story. The bottom line is I had to go to jury duty, okay? And I, the night before, I did not feel well and my stomach hurt. And I'm Jewish and it was a Jewish holiday. And my, uh, it's, it was Sukkot, so I don't know if there's any Jews on here, but I heard about it, yeah. was outside in the sukkah. Like he wanted to hang out and dwell there all night. Right. So I was like, I don't feel well. I'm going to be in the bed, which was fine with me. Cause I don't mind. I like having my space. So I was like, okay, I'm just, and he's like, listen, I said, Mark, I don't feel well, but he's like, listen, I'm not going to, I'm going to stay down here, but take a Dolcolax. Has anybody ever taken? Oh a yeah. Oh yeah. It's, a, it's like well, a laxative. I never did. I'm a very regular person. I don't have problems. Okay. But I was like, okay, this tiny little pill, I'm like, I'll take it, you know, whatever. So I take it and it helped and everything was good. And then the next day I'm driving to jury duty. This is such a crazy story. And, and it's a holiday. So I can't call anybody because nobody's using their phones. And everybody's all observant. Uh. And I'm not. So I went to go do the, the jury duty and I pull up and I felt like I had a little gas and uh. It wasn't. And so then I text my sister and I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I think I just shit my pants. And then my sister's like, oh my God, jury duty. <laughs> wow. So that was the funniest story. So that happened and I had to go to jury duty. And not only that, <gasps> I had to sit through the whole thing like for hours. No. With shit in your pants? No, I went to the oh. bathroom and oh. everything. You, but still, you like, kept I it. I'm like, can you imagine? If <laughs> yeah, they would have let you go. Yeah, they would have let you go. Absolutely. They'd be like, Absolutely. Your sister's just yeah. fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> Lady out of here. <laughs> yeah, they don't think you're crazy. She's shit her pants. Yeah, they're, people they'd be have, like, yeah, people have done worse. Like, Your, Your Honor, it. can we dismiss the woman who shit her pants, please? <laughs> <laughs> that would have yeah. been amazing. I would have been like, yes, yeah. thank you. you How to get out of it. jury duty. Come off really racist or shit your pants. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dave should have that because he looks like he's working at the court right now. <laughs> yeah, again, I just look like this. <laughs> I got a DUI joke. DUI joke? All right, Elizabeth, let's hear it. Is that it? Is that okay. my material here? All right, so here's a little tip to get you out of a DUI. Yeah, I know. I got that look. You think I'm going to say something like, get on my knees, get out of a DUI, but I would never say that. That does not always work. How's this thing go? Fool me four times, shame on me. Anyway, what you gotta do is first do my British accent. Be like, hey little officer, go put the moan into your leg. Cheerio! People sound firm hammered all the time. Plus they drive on the wrong side of the street and shit. Okay, yes. That and I did it? poop my pants. No, I poop my pants. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Right. I thought she was about to get a DWI. Am I on uh, mushrooms uh, or marijuana? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Am I tripping? That was like a short <laughs> story, so, uh, Elizabeth. That was like a short story. It, it was a joke. I do that in my, I do comedy. So. 
Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, good, good. Yeah, Caitlin, it. turn your phone sideways if you can. And, and sideways. I, oh, shit. I my bed. Like, it again the other way. Hear that? I like poop my pants. This is spiraling out of control. This Zoom. Um, <laughs> who has a who has a pants shitting story? I actually or, do. Far too many. <laughs> All right, Chris. Let's hear one from Chris. A pants <laughs> shitting story. All right, Jen. Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't really have. It's hard to say. I have a lot of moments where <laughs> I've had to shit really badly at the worst time. Uh, and that has somewhat led to a pan shitting, but uh -oh. for me, I'm like lactose intolerant. So pretty much my entire life is just like running from one toilet to the, to the next. Uh -huh. Um, but it's not sad. It's fine. I choose this <laughs> life. I eat pizza for dinner. That's my fault. Um, Damn. but yeah, I mean, anytime when I was in college, I specifically remember like, I finally was like going over to a girl's place that like a girl that I wanted to get with like my entire college career and I finally wow. got there and I had to leave because of bowel movements that I just would Oof. not be able to control. <laughs> so I had to pull myself out of the game and bench myself and then never got that chance ever again. So oh, maybe she's listening now. Oh, well, I don't know. What's, <laughs> we'll her, see. what's her name? I don't want to have her. <laughs> There's no way she's going to see this. Yeah, yeah right. no way. I'm not. I think her name is Megan. I'm, I won't give the last name. Megan, but, was this in college? Yeah. It was in college. Yeah, what I think she's like in to? Colorado now. Um, I went to U Albany, upstate. Ooh, yeah, an upstate girl. All right, Megan, yeah. are you listening? Situation. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I love I love this energy. It's very like my mom's friend energy. It's really <laughs> yes. It's good. It's like she'll go from being funny to emotional like that, and it's, it's very. I like it. It's very wholesome. It's very cute, and the pigtail is very wholesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot this was happening, and I was a um, flagger today, and it was a very busy intersection. And then I took a nap, and then I'm like, holy fuck balls. And, I <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> She's also doing the zoom angles like your mom's friend would. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm going to get my laptop to work with my Google. But oh, hold on, it. let me get to think. Oh, my God. Let Dave, do you angle. have a pants shitting story? I, I don't. I don't remember. I probably like diapers, which i will yeah. probably be needing again in, like, five years. But... Um, Okay. Oh my God! Wow. Yeah, there wow. we go. Now my husband would want to come back. <laughs> yeah. Now he's gonna unpack his bag. Yeah. <laughs> he just stopped packing now. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Hot Zoom. All right. All right. Oh Let's God. see. Ben had a story, I think. Oh, yeah, I did. I guess I'm not getting out of this. I thought I was going to be able to get out of it. By the way, Caitlin Bailey, you look like Janet Carter, my boss at Washington Sports Clubs 10 years ago. She's very pretty, and she was an actress, so look her up. Ooh. Anyway, that's a compliment. compliment. <laughs> so yeah. say thank you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, wow. You know, I never told anybody this. I don't think anybody. So let me just tell you this. I can just sum it up in, like this. If you're ever going to get a colonic, Yes. Okay. Yes. At the end, sit there for a really long time because mm -hmm. what a colonic is, if you don't know what a colonic is, is there's a tube that goes up your butt and it shoots filtered warm water for about a half hour, 45 minutes. And you're essentially defecating on and off for that amount of time. And then you sit down for maybe a couple minutes and then you leave and you're all cleaned out. And that's what should happen. Well, I, I sat there for a few minutes. I, I thought I did. So I went to my car. I paid. And I thought I was all, you know, cleaned out, ready to go. Well, I had like a super bumble right before I walked into my Mercedes, <laughs> uh, nice Mercedes. And I walk and I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like looking around like, oh my God. Like I, ha like, I have to go within six seconds. I, oh I might God. have three seconds. That's it. And <gasps> I can tell it's like something just released, like a freaking, <laughs> like, a, like a, a dam. Like, Whoa! and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm looking everywhere and I see a rainbow, that cheap store. And I see the other store and then it just starts coming out. 
and it starts going down my pants. I was wearing sweatpants. I remember oh. distinctly. And I can feel it going into my shoes because I'm very sensitive. <gasps> oh, well, no. Yes, it was very extreme. It was very extreme, like a trauma. <laughs> National Lampoon's movie. It's crazy. But luckily, you, I have nice men around me, so I don't give a shit. So I, I, I you did give a shit. <laughs> And to wrap up the story, I had I had bags in my car, like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods bags, one or the other, and I opened them up and I put them all down on my Mercedes car seats, and then I proceeded to drive home for 20 or 30 minutes and threw out my custom-made Adidas shoes and sweatpants oh, no. and everything. You could have washed my those. Car. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not water picking those. You can't water pick that. You're the second person to shit in their really nice car. We had a previous Oof. Zoom where somebody shit their BMW. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was with um, Peyton Sinclair, and then she made her mom clean it, which I di disagreed oh, with. Maybe she's my soulmate, but spoiled, because <laughs> I did it myself. I was well, like, that's oh putting goodness. the BM in BMW. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Where were you on the weeks Ooh. ago, Dave? <laughs> Wait, so Jen, you could not avoid it. You you could, you had no other moves but to no just way. shit in your car. I wasn't even gonna go around the corner to the rainbow store and have time to go in the bathroom. It just was like, damn opened. It was happening. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I would have tried to maybe just like just like shit outside the car, like really quick, open the door, go, but sometimes you don't have that kind of time. Maybe I don't think I have that time. <laughs> I probably was. Like, can I shit story. Yes. <laughs> can't wait okay so i'm a blogger all right so it's like my fifth day a what and i'm out in the middle of nowhere and what they have these doing? guys called the maintainer i'm a flagger so i hold the stop sign oh and the okay. Slow okay first i got hired on because they have a lot of experience working the pole in the streets and the corners for money i want to stop and <laughs> publish that right now so yeah, so I'm like on my fifth day with AAA. I actually worked at a temp agency before that, but uh, my maintainer kind of left me and he was like, just, uh, you know, I'll be right back. So I'm like, okay, it's not, I'm in Utah. And this is like farmland stuff going on that I had a shit so bad. It was just <laughs> like, there was nothing I can do. And I'm looking through my car. I'm not gonna shit on the side of the road. I'm not gonna open up my car. You're a lady, yeah. Well, yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm a motherfucking lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I found some Tupperware, and I just like stand <laughs> in the back. Shit, and I just <laughs> and and when the cars went by, I just threw it just out in the middle of some cow farm thing. I don't know what the hell that was. But I'm like, don't. Did you put a lid on and it? And then any hoodle. Yeah, yeah, of course, because like you said, I'm a lady. So then I had a piss. <laughs> the retainer went to give me some coffee, so I had to pee. And then it was like this crazy road where people can drive really motherfucking fast, right? Or am I allowed to say that? Yes, and sure. Go, <laughs> no. We're driving, and I had a piss. So this is how I learned to pee the back of my car. And I had, like, the thing from an ex, like, it was a water thing whatever to work out and so i took the top off of it and i pissed and it squatted and i see this truck coming up behind me really really fast oh no i'm like what the fuck? did he honk so yeah. i just put the oh absolutely not and i can see him and so i put the my pee down i don't my pants zipped up or anything like that he comes really really fast and I ran in front of him. I'm like, with the slow, with stop sign, excuse me. The slow is for when people can know that I'm slow. Give him a warning. But anyway, I'm holding the stop sign and running. I'm like, stop, stop, stop. And I zipped up my pants and then my button. And uh, yeah. And you did it. <laughs> well, that's a good story. <laughs> There's a lot happening there. <laughs> a Tupperware full of shit. Yeah. You know that somebody's gonna find a Tupperware full of shit and be like, this goddamn city. You know what I mean? It'll be like the last. I feel like this is nice pudding. Why is there some corn in it? Oh, but oh, back God. with the corn, a corn callback. 
<laughs> I see what you're doing here. I knew somebody who was in Philly and someone was stealing their Amazon packages. And so they wound up putting poop in one of the packages and Ooh. it got stolen. <laughs> Good for so them. whoever stole it is not happy. <laughs> like Amazon Prime is shit. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. That's really clever. Why claw? I love it. That was a great story, Elizabeth. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Who hasn't gone yet? Dave. Mm. Davy boy. I'll do one. Um, <laughs> never have I ever broken a bone. Mm. I haven't either. No, so. I have not. I broke I my penis. Not. What happens if you break your penis anyway? I want to know. <laughs> That's weird coming from you, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was I had a surgery. Tijuana, they said I would do donkey show. I was going to get it. I think it's like a county fair. Anyway, go ahead. So you broke the donkey? Don't answer that. Um, the closest <laughs> I came was a sprain, sprained ankle, which I did in the middle of a performance. Uh, but no, Stand nothing up. ever broke. What kind of performance? Uh, what kind of performance? Improv. Uh, improv. Less? In the middle of an improv, improv show. Of course it was an improv show. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Because wow. there aren't enough reasons to dislike improv. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I um, get a lot more if you would have actually sprained your ankle. But go ahead anyway. Well, I I I don't know whether that was a question, a sentence, or a cough. The but... <laughs> <laughs> symptom of coronavirus, actually. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was playing a character yeah, who was a. They thought you sprained your ankle. Oh, don't make like, me mute you, Elizabeth. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was portraying a character who was a martial arts loving psychopath who really worshipped Vanilla Ice. So Ooh. naturally, the guy was reenacting some of the moves he, that were done in the Ice Ice Baby video, one of which was that dance where he holds his hands out and alternately brings his knees up to mm. each hand. And <laughs> everyone's caught up now, right? Okay. Oh my God! I forgot. It's also that. like a warm up for any gym class, like any workout classes. Like it you could just be. jump your yeah. knees up. Yeah. I feel like so, the, the specificity with which you remember every moment of this is how I know it was a trauma. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so at one point, as I lifted one foot and put it down, instead of my foot landing flat. I landed on sideways and I didn't realize that until I completely lifted up my other foot and put all my weight. Oh, no. I flinched briefly, but I managed to hold in the holy crap, what just happened. Uh, and the pain was initially okay. I was able to finish the show without anyone knowing. I limped out to my car and by the morning I could not stand on it. Wow. Oh, no. Improv does not deserve you. That you should be a pro athlete with that. <laughs> I'm That's a, a massage therapist, and I understand that kind of pain. Oh. But I want to clarify. I want to clarify something. I I do like people don't understand. It's really difficult to graduate from massage therapy school, and a lot of people have tainted that name, obviously. But one of the final exams for massage therapy school, she have to say, "Fifty extra dollar, make you holler." You don't graduate. Not to be I good. also like quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I have not broken a bone, but I have sprained. I've definitely sprained an ankle too. And I, much like your improv injury, I did this very same thing, but in uh, like high school gymnastics, I did like a round off, jump, did a split in the air, and then like yeah. land landed on my right on my ankle instead of like on my foot. Yeah, oh. it hurt. It hurt real bad, but I uh, I didn't have to finish the show. I could just <laughs> immediately start cursing. Yeah. Aww. Break it? No, I didn't break it. I haven't broken any bones. I've just sprained ankles. And then when I was a diver, I would hit my hands on the diving board. I hit my oh. hair on the diving board, but I never um, broke anything. I, I, I was a swimmer. Oh, what was your event? Backstroke 100. Mm-hmm. The ice. I, I didn't per, I didn't actually perform diving, but well, kind of just like <laughs> on the totally. side. You gotta dive to get into the pool. That's what's cool about being a swimmer. You you don't have to dive that well. You just have to like fall in head first. I, now I could do like a double. 
flip and a Ooh, like a look at you. That's fancy. Cool. I love it. So your your you hit your ankle on a board. Yeah. Oh yeah, like the diving board. I would like you know you flip around and then like Whoa. you're supposed to go in, but I would be too short, so I would like skim my ankles. Oh, I just you look like a swimmer too. Thank you. I yeah, mean, you look like the swimmers I would see in high school. They're like very fit. Their hair is back oh my just God. like yours. Your Thank hair is you. back like a swimmer. <laughs> oh my God. Let me put this camera down. You'll take all that back. No, um, no, no I had it. very short hair. Like all the divers would cut their hair oh. really short. So I was like very much not having a boyfriend, but um, wow. that was fine because I could focus on my sport. <laughs> um, it says your legs too makes you faster. Did you ever do that? Well, uh, divers don't have to be fast. But yes, oh. I do understand. <laughs> Cuts down on the drag. Um, Chris, do you have one? Yeah. Um, never have I ever had anyone walk in on me in the act. Oh. Oh, yeah. In the Ooh. act, I mean, like, you, bad for sex, to, to clarify. Sex? I mean, yeah, I, I haven't been interrupted, but I've been to, like, sex parties and stuff where there was like people coming in and out drink but, literally right. coming in and out drink. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Whitney what about you any that hasn't happened to you anybody walk in no there was one time where we were on a vacation and his friends were like trying to knock on the window and like look in our hotel room because there was like a slight crack and then they were making fun of us and then it became a whole thing and we're like nah but that was like about it and you were like, I'll show you a slight crack. And then you turned around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, there's no story. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's it was the latest one. He's like, stop telling stories. Because you worked at Hooters. No cleavage shot. Yeah, you worked at Hooters. That's true. I know. Cleavage shot. Nothing. I, girl, you'd be, you, you will not find it. <laughs> So were you asking, some, hold on, hold on, Elizabeth. Were you just asking Whitney to show her tits? <laughs> <laughs> like in the bag. Yeah. On, You're like, do it for who? No, you don't, have, Elizabeth. I would maybe don't show your boobs because I don't want to get kicked off YouTube. True, but, true. But thank you for the enthusiasm. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. That's um, generosity. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love the, I love the energy. Uh -oh. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, never have I ever been a movie extra. Oh, shit. Uh, no, not exciting. I think it was like a movie with Jennifer. And I can't remember the name because the working title is different than what it ultimately was. But her fluffer Elizabeth, I have the conch. All right, so we were in the we were in the subway. It was like underneath, you know, the subway underneath, like Forty Second Street, and we were there filming all night it was crazy it was from like 7 p.m to 6 a.m it was like and so not worth it like you're there oh, all night for like I know. 50 or 60 bucks at the time mm -hmm. i was i was non-union mm -hmm. and like you get treated like shit because even the union extras think they're hot shit and mm -hmm. they like look down on you and they get to be in front of all the things and they get the better food and they like they oh they think they're so hot i've never seen somebody more arrogant than a union extra <laughs> yeah. it's just a testament to the power of unions i mean just saying yeah true god i but actually just finally joined the union and but only but it was so tough as non-union and then when you get a union waiver then the union people are like well you're not really union and then it becomes a whole drama and i'm like what? like who cares let me be in with you yeah they're trying to keep you out wow. at, every t at every turn true yeah Fucking extra. It's that extra what life. Movie, what movie were you in? I can't remember because it was with ugh, Jennifer Aniston. It had something to do with cooking. What? It was uh -huh. like many years ago. And it was like a stupid hmm. subway scene. I don't even think I, I think we might have been cut all together. Uh. I can't remember. It at all? Or they I show think, you? I think I was cut. Yeah, I think I was completely. That's all right. Uh, uh, you're I that no. you were cutting out but i Again. i feel like i know what you were saying okay um <laughs> let's do who hasn't gone yet who has another one hmm. chris 
Again? All right. Um, yes, again. <laughs> okay. I, uh, we're trying to get you wasted so we can take advantage yeah. of you. Yeah. Resistance style. We're trying to feel you up. Yeah. <laughs> Virtually. <laughs> Virtual um, hand jobs. Never have I ever. Oh, we're going to move things to a drug category. Mm-hmm. Which, mm-hmm. Yeah. Never have I ever. So the rules of the game, I'm just like kind of, I'm just asking a question. I have or have not done these things, but um, never have ever taken psychedelics. <gasps> yes. I have, so. And then gone on a Zoom podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth this is currently Zoom? on them. Um, Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's the baby. Aww. What's his name? Tropic Thunder? Oh. Shit, what's his name? Storm? Uh, Turbo. 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 <laughs> that would be a good name for a chihuahua, actually. Mm. Oh, my God. I love your dog. Oh, hi. He's, he's, very, he's, he's very affectionate. <laughs> I'm Molly's dog right now. Aww. She's like he loves peanut butter. Okay. So um, <laughs> Only on the weekends and on the oh, holidays. No. And- oh. no, 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 Elizabeth, so, no. I mean, what water, were we talking about? Um, the Dodger. <laughs> Dodger. We're talking Dodger. about oh yeah, done Dodger. done psychedelics. Yeah, <laughs> mushrooms like two or three times. Two times cool. where it was actually like good good times. Good. But did you watch we- what did you do when you were on mushroom? Um, one time I went to an art museum and I like <laughs> everything made sense. I was like I was like, oh I get it. I understand you know, everything. <laughs> and then one time was just like on the subway, like walking around Manhattan, like really fun, just like alive in the world, like hmm. appreciating myself. I just was like, Oh, I'm I'm so like I don't know, I felt so much positivity towards myself. And then the drugs wow. wore off and I was back to normal. <laughs> what the other two times where you didn't feel anything what happened hmm? the other two times you said like four oh. times well <laughs> tell times. all your drug one, stories one time was <laughs> all of them here we go all of them right now. One, time right now. I just, one time i don't think i ate enough mushrooms because i was so grossed out by the taste of mushrooms especially mushrooms like baked Ugh. into a thing i just was like mm. so uh, grossed out that i couldn't like eat enough to get anywhere so i just was like Bleh, you know mm. no yeah what about you elizabeth i feel like you've done some drugs <laughs> Well, I just want to say, first of all, my parents live in New York. They're in upstate New York, but you're from New York. And yes. I'm from Vegas mostly, so I know I live in Utah right now, but I just want to clarify that. And as far as mushrooms, I totally understand that taste. But um, the last thing that I saw on mushrooms, and I wish I could remember exactly, but it was Austin Power movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not- but it was, oh my gosh, it's the one with Fred Savage and he has the mole, moly, moly. Yeah, mole, 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 mole. Dude, that is like the best movie to watch on mushrooms. Mm. <laughs> Anybody out there watching that wants to do mushrooms, you need to watch the moly, moly. <laughs> and I wrote a letter to Fred Savage. <laughs> Yeah, I was in love with him. So you were in love with Austin Powers? Oh, no, no. Fred Savage, the guy who's oh. the Oh, my gosh. Fred, and if you're listening. They're back and he's listening. Yeah. Oh, my Fred God. is my ex boyfriend who won't water pick. <laughs> he's the one. Wow. <laughs> We've all there come you go. back around. You can have him. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> you got a water pick. Um, Chris, well, tell, tell your drug story. <laughs> um, I don't really have a story, but I'm very perplexed by your, like, I don't think I want to be around a lot of people when I'm on them. I'm surprised mm. you were able to go on the subway. Oh, it's like freeing. The, yeah. I was in the woods and yeah. I was like, enjoying nature, you know, I, New York city would probably be the last place I want to be. If I could freak me yeah. out. Yeah. You can feel the life in everything. It's like, mm. it, it was like bright and happy. It was like being in a cartoon, but this was mm. like years ago when things were still good, you know? Okay. Before mm-hmm. the dark days. Okay. Before the dark ages. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After, I feel like you need to be in the woods or doing some kind of um, yeah. pottery. If mm. you're doing mushrooms, if it was a light dose, yeah. I guess. 
Okay. Christia. Well, also okay. the world is as you see it. So Chrissy, back then you must have been very positive because really Ooh. the world is who you are. So you must have been emanating that and projecting and creating Ooh, that. Oh my God. There you go. It's like some self-help. I yes. did write a health book. Yeah, I, but <gasps> I want to read it. I want to read it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I love self-help shit so much. It's all I read. Oh, okay. Right? I just went the other day with this uh, other girl, Flagger, and I'm really not friends with a lot of women, but she's kind of half my age, but we went <laughs> and I got my first tarot cards. Tarot cards. Woo. Love tarot start. cards. Yes. All that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was going to get like my first one, but I just did. And I haven't like started reading anything yet, but it's a big <laughs> Who has their tarot cards? They your hands. I, have I don't have them, but I like getting them done. I knew it. Do you do reading? Um, I've predicted some things. I've done only two mediumship readings where I've described someone's parents down to their facial hair. Um, so I use my intuition when I do health counseling. I always know what people eat. I know if they're lonely, if they're having sex. That's pretty much because I need to know what you're up to and be like, Oh, let's help you. You know, let's help you feel better. I need to know like what's missing. So I'm good with that. Who on this Zoom needs to have more sex? Go. Chris, what? don't put your hand up. Just she's supposed, we're supposed what? to make Jen guess. Oh, Ooh. sorry. I ruined oh, okay. sorry. I thought you were asking everybody. <laughs> no. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was gonna ask Jen to like figure out who's well, uh, all right. I need don't to guess be me. in person. I need okay. to feel like I never okay. done phone readings ever. Only in vibes. person. What yeah, I'm not that pro and psychic. What does the media mean? Is that in the middle? Does that not mean- a small and not a large. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like you're the medium through which things go through, you know? She loves it. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, sweetheart. That's funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was my favorite Zoom case. ever. This is my all-time favorite <laughs> Zoom. Um, oh, Caitlin's frozen! Uh, oh, no. Drink. 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 Yeah. Got a drink for the freeze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great rule. Drink, 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 yeah, drink. I wish I had been doing this rule 25 weeks ago. <laughs> It's such a funny rule. <laughs> I know it's so <laughs> stupid. It's like this um, old lady, me and my boyfriend, the water pit guy, were playing cornhole with, and she was just drunk or batty, and she just kept on making up all the rules. She's like, "Oh," and then she's like, "Oh, you did this, we win." It's like, "What? Since what?" And she was like seventy. It's like really like seventy like year old lady. She was very fun. She was great. I can't wait to be a fun <laughs> drunk old lady. You know, mm. just, ba- just basically this, but older. Um, Why wait? Yeah, true. All right. Does anybody have one more? What was the question again? Oh, the question is, <laughs> do a thing. All right. We're telling stories about fun things we've done. Welcome to the show, Elizabeth. <laughs> this Welcome. Is the sec- this is the second show. Welcome. I'm sensing that you weren't here earlier. I'm sensing that. <laughs> Elizabeth, do you have any funny, crazy, silly, sexy stories? Other than shitting in Tupperware, that is going to be tough to beat. I mean, I feel like that—that that was really the A game there. All right. Uh, Should I tell you like, my boyfriend's phone? What? As mentioned earlier, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So oh, okay, tell us about that. <laughs> um, I once had a threesome with my other personality. Oh, your other personality? Yeah, it, okay. They like, like, I'm like one of your hands, but I actually was out of my body with all the personalities and I was doing different shit. It sounds fun. But they were, there. yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if your other personality like loved anal and then like your other, one of your other personalities like hates anal and you wake up the next morning sore and you're like, God damn it. And you fight with yourself. <laughs> That's funny. Or what if one of your personalities absolutely hated one or the other and put out a hit on them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I've been working hard at the office writing stories. <laughs> She's like, don't I know it? Um, this was so fun, guys. There's no way we're going to top the stories we've already told. There's just no way. I'm going to be so paranoid tomorrow. Aw. It's okay. Let's go around. No, but- 
Okay. Uh, we're wrapping this up, Elizabeth. We're wrapping it up. Where everyone's going to go around and tell everybody where uh, they can follow them on Twitter. Um, we'll start with Chris Barnes. Where can people find you? Yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Chris Barnes NYC. Uh, also follow me on Instagram at Christopher Barnes. Uh, that's where I'll be because I won't be doing stand up because it's illegal okay. in New York City. Yes. Follow Chris on Twitter. He's very, very funny on Twitter. Um, Dave Sheehan. Proud of silence on Instagram, um, performing on Zoom here and there, some outdoor shows when allowed, um, Facebook, MySpace, Friendster, <laughs> MySpace. Mm. AOL, AOL free CDs, yes. AOL chat room, AOL yes. free CDs. I love the AOL CDs. Oh my God. <laughs> Jen Feldy. Um, well, tomorrow you can find me hosting a film festival combined with a burlesque show and a sideshow and a concert and the comedy show with witches fighting a vampire tomorrow. Oh, Friday. <laughs> but wait, but wait, Jen, this comes out and, on Saturday. Oh, no. well, too bad. Well, online <laughs> you, you can find it. me at <laughs> Jen Elise on Instagram. Instagram is at Jen Elise. Facebook is Jen Elise Feldy. And we'll do Twitter at The Life with Jenergy. I love it. Whitney Allman. <laughs> You can find me at GoToWhitney on all platforms and also The City Pulse is the newest craze. So you have to check out The City Pulse. What's The City Ooh. Pulse about? Well, basically it's an entertainment, lifestyle, dining, casino, like news platform. It's pretty cool. I have 17 writers. I'm open Whoa. if anybody else would like to be a writer every week. It's super cool. And um, we have health and lifestyle personalities. It's just really fun. It's just a fun way to get the news but through mm. people's personalities. So mm. I love it. Fun. Speaking of personalities, Elizabeth, where can people find you? You know, I'm not as cool as y'all, but I uh, need to catch up. You're I, just uh, as cool. Aw. Facebook, Elizabeth Church. And I've actually had the opportunity um, to do two shows this summer through the epidemic. Nice. And a lot I did, uh, yeah, I like to do a lot of charity shows. It was for Polly Rise, the biker crew, and it was to help with medical bills. But, um, yeah, if you want to follow me. Are you on Twitter or Instagram? I'm not. That's why I'm not. Oh, cool. man. Like, okay. Whoa. Facebook? What about Facebook? Elizabeth Church. Okay. Cool. You're not, wait, are you? Okay. And then anything i'm doing and um also shows i've done but we i do like to do a lot of um charity shows and for also legion uh 72 and 71 and post and they're for um the military oh yes i love it you're you're like a better person than all of us all right mm -hmm. guys this was so great oh and caitlin bailey her internet fell out it fell away oh. follow her at caitlin bailey i think it's k-a-y-t-l-i-n-b-a-i-l-e-y um thank you guys so much for doing the show love you so thank much you. Bye. Bye. bye thank you chrissy bye everyone